Photoshop CS6 tutorial. This video we're going to be continuing on from the last tutorial on how to edit video inside of Photoshop. So if you haven't seen that video be sure to click the link on screen now. One of the cool things I like about using Photoshop to edit videos is that you have all of the awesome Photoshop tools like adjustment layers and filters. Only they're even better because you can adjust them over the video over time. So in this video we're going to be making two different types of adjustments. The first being fixing color and uh, or if the video is too dark and too light. And then the second is going to be more of a creative adjustment. So here's the cat project that we we're working on in the previous video. And I'm just going to go through this video and looking at this first video I can see that the fur on the cat isn't really that black and the white isn't really that white so I'm going to add a curves adjustment but before we do that on the layers panel I'm just going to make sure that I have the close up clip selected and then I'm just going to choose the curves adjustment in the adjustments panel over here. Now to create an adjustment I'm going to click on the shadow area of the curve and then I'm just going to click to drag it down to kind of darken the shadows and then I see that the highlights on this are too low so I'm just going to click up on the top part of this little curve here and then drag that up. Then we can close the properties panel. If we take a look at our layers panel we can see that Photoshop has automatically clipped the curves adjustment over the layer that we had selected meaning that it's only going to affect that one not any of the other ones. Now if I return back to the first frame mute the audio and then click the play button we can uh, preview the adjustment if I pause and then toggle the adjustment on and off you can see that uh, adjustment that we've put on there now what if we wanted to add a special effect where I wanted the clip to go black and white or fade into black and white well we can do this using adjustment layers I'm just going to go back into the adjustments panel and this time I'm going to choose the black and white adjustment if I close the properties panel and now if I go back to looking into the layers panel we can see that the black and white adjustment layer was also added and it was also automatically clipped to that selected layer but if I just want to drag this black and white adjustment layer out of the video group so I'll click and drag it up until I see that highlighted at the very top and then I'll just let that go. Now we can uh, see it in the timeline and uh, the black and white adjustment has its own track on top of the video group. So anything under this black and white adjustment is now going to be black and white and anything not under it just remains the same. I can also change the position, length and duration of this adjustment as well as I can position it to where I want the effect. So if I want this effect to pair over the two clips I'm just going to click and drag it so it covers a bit of both. So now that the end of the first one is in black and white and the start of the second one is too. Now playing through this a little bit, uh, when it ends you'll see that there's a very harsh swap from black and white to color and we probably want to blend that in over time. To do this if we click on the little drop down layer on the adjustment layer we can keyframe all of these properties over time. So if I move my current time indicator to the start of that adjustment and then tell Photoshop that I want to start keyframing the opacity of this adjustment just by clicking on the little stopwatch next to it. And now that I've clicked on the stopwatch, we can see that Photoshop has automatically added a keyframe. So from now on, Photoshop is going to be keeping track to any changes I make under the opacity slider and applying them to the adjustment using keyframes. So at the beginning of the adjustment, I want it to fade in and not be so harsh. So I'm just going to tell Photoshop that I want to make it start with zero opacity. And I can do this just by moving the opacity slider. Now I'm just going to move my current time indicator along a little bit more for where I want it to start fully. And once I've done that, I'm just going to increase the opacity back up to 100%. Now if we scrub over this section, you'll see that it's going to transition over time between that first keyframe 0% and then that second keyframe 100% opacity. Okay, so that's a start fade, and now we want to do the end fade. So if I go to a bit before the end and then click the new keyframe button, this little diamond here, because I haven't made any changes, it'll let Photoshop know that I want that part of the video to stay the same opacity over that part of time. Now we just want to go to the end of the adjustment and then reduce the transparency back to 0%. Now if we preview this, we can see that it fades into black and white and then it fades out of black and white. Okay, so now we've added an adjustment layer to correct a video, and we've also added one for a bit more of a creative effect. This is just the beginning. You can also work with type, layer masks, and even filters. 
almost everything you can do with images in Photoshop, you can do with the video. Be sure to click the like button if you followed along and add it to your favorites. Leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, including other features in Photoshop, be sure to check out the show and be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.